welcome to Next Beat, where we give you quick breakdowns of things you might have missed in the last week in gaming, film and TV, music, and the arts. Let's dive in. I'm Evan, and welcome to Next Beat, episode 25 on MindMine. Amazon has announced an official launch date for their free PvEVP sci-fi shooter, Crucible. You can now mark your calendars for May 20th of this year. There will be three different game modes that will include elements from team shooters, battle arena games, and battle royales. This style of game only makes sense with Amazon's ownership of Twitch. It fits in well with Twitch's promotion of competitive games through events like Twitch Rivals. And if this game takes off, this could assist in competing with YouTube, who earlier this year signed an exclusivity deal for esports events such as Overwatch League and Call of Duty League, all which were once on Twitch. The current pandemic has pushed many businesses to utilize technology in order to continue connecting with their audiences. Funimation, the Sony-owned anime distributor, has decided to join in by announcing their first digital Funimation Con. This will take place on July 3rd and 4th and will be completely free. This online event will include panels, cosplay contests, and more. Colin Decker, general manager of Funimation, shared in a recent statement, With so many anime events being canceled this year, we're jumping in to fill the gap with a new way for fans to come together and enjoy some great content and experiences. There currently isn't much more information, but you can visit the link in the description section of this video for future updates. Datalik Entertainment has been busily working on a next-gen stealth game set in the world of Lord of the Rings. The game has you playing as the raw fish-eating, ring-thirsty Gollum. Just recently, GameStar published the first screenshots of this project. We get a glimpse at several in-game locations, such as Mirkwood, and we get a glimpse at some interesting gameplay mechanics. One of those mechanics seems to be Gollum speaking to his alter ego, Smeagol, and the player will choose how that conversation unfolds. This mechanic was also spoken about in Edge Magazine's preview of the project, with some very interesting additional tidbits. It seems that the game will focus on platforming gameplay and subterfuge over skill trees and a character progression system. Lord of the Rings Gollum is scheduled to release in 2021 for console and PC. What are your thoughts on a Gollum-focused Lord of the Rings game? Share those thoughts in the comments. We've seen several films involving space exploration, but what if movies were actually filmed in space? It seems that Tom Cruise, SpaceX, and NASA are looking to make that happen. From what Deadline has learned, this film is in the very early stages with no studio currently involved, but it will be an action adventure. And if you think this news is too out of this world, NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine confirmed this information, stating, NASA is excited to work with Tom Cruise on a film aboard the space station. We need popular media to inspire a new generation of engineers and scientists to make NASA's ambitious plans a reality. There isn't currently any information on any meeting between Elon Musk and Tom Cruise concerning SpaceX's involvement, but we'd assume it would look like this. Thanks for joining us for episode 25 of NextBeat. Enjoyed the video? Make sure to click the like button to tell the Google bots that this content should be seen by others. Also, make sure to subscribe and click the notification icon. This way you can be updated whenever a new episode gets released here at MindMind.